If you read Farms and Farm Machinery magazine, and I hope you do, you probably know that Reg Grant and I have been testing ATVs and UTVs for more than 10 years. If Reg and I haven't tested something, it probably doesn't figure in the scheme of things. The only thing we haven't really tested is an amphibious vehicle that can be used on the farm. There aren't too many of them anyway, but the best known one is Argo. And it just so happens that a couple of weeks ago, Argo gave us a call and said, hey, how'd you like to test our 8x8 Frontier? We said, hell yeah, bring it on. Before we get into it though, we asked Gary Olson from Argo to explain how this machine works, the basic function. Over to you, Gary. Okay, this is the Argo Frontier, steering handlebars, throttle on the right, downhill brakes on the left, left hand turn, right hand turn. Basically the Argo driveline is a V-twin engine, carburetor or fuel injected up the front through a heavy duty CVT to an Ontario driving gear differential transmission. Your drive is left and right, chain driven, one chain per axle, let the Argo go on a straight line, it's locked if eight wheel drive, turn, four wheel drive one side, four wheel drive the other side. Here we have the gear selector, you have low range, neutral, reverse and high range. Thanks Gary, that was right on the money. The Argo is designed and manufactured in Canada by Ontario Drive and Gear. The company has been in business since 1962, specialising in precision gears and transmissions, but also has a reputation for its amphibious all-terrain vehicles. In Australia, the Frontier costs $21,300. That's about the same as a fancy side-by-side, -side, and they can't swim. This 8x8 does about 35 kilometres an hour on land, and since tyres provide the only propulsion while it's swimming, it manages about 5 kilometres an hour in water. Most diesel side-by-sides are no faster, and in our opinion, the Argo's ability to carry a load on land and water far outweighs any lack of outright speed. The way engine braking works takes a bit of getting used to. You have to get the revs just right. Driving it in water is a new experience too. But these idiosyncrasies are nothing the average bloke can't come to grips with in about an hour. Since the vehicle skid steers, you don't turn it in the normal sense of the word. An Argo can change direction faster than any ATV. It can almost spin on the spot. Fully loaded, it has a ground pressure less than one man walking. Because it's so stable, we reckon the Argo is far safer than an ATV. There's far less likelihood of one of these endoing or rolling. It carries more too, a lot more. So it's useful on a farm as a load carrier and a people mover. Argo makes a large range of accessories for the Frontier, including ROPs, roofs and windscreens. You can customise yours for pretty much any climatic or geographical conditions. For a full rundown on the nifty Argo Frontier, get a copy of Farms and Farm Machinery magazine. <laughs>